Activo was created over the last 17, 18 years of practice with different patients, different injuries. Patients kept returning with the same injury over and over again. And we created basically a feedback of retraining the muscles and supporting the ligament with a more permanent solution for repetitive injuries. Mainly at the beginning, I started working with tape, but the limitation of tape are that there is a more of a temporary solution. The patient has to keep changing it every day. Sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable inside the shoe, so we try to come up with a more comfortable solution, something that encompasses the whole three position of the tape as well as the retraining mechanism. Something that the person can actually take with them to retrain the muscles as well as offering a little bit of security and healing effect while they are performing simple activity like just walking. It has been catapulting the clinic into a different stage. We're having great results. This is the basis of how Activo Brace was created. Activo have two primary functions. The main function is actually creating a stability on the joint, on the tibofibular joint proximal and distal by supporting the ligamentous area. And the secondary function is the most exciting one that is actually using principle of neuroplasticity to retrain the muscle function while the person is performing an activity using a, an external contractile piece. In this case, it's a simple elastic, which creates a little bit of a recoil or recontraction. The brain senses that there is a muscle actually contracting and functioning in, in the region, in the area, and it starts to send more blood supply, more oxygen to the area, and it actually starts sending signals to the muscle to reactivate, and this will lead to rehabilitation. I'm Claudia. I am the director and owner of Pilates Italia. It's a training center where I teach students how to become Pilates instructors, and I'm also an osteopath. I've been using Activo for three months and it has worked beautifully for me. I was really looking forward to something that would help me with my back pain and hip pain that I've had uh, for quite a few years, especially because of my activities. I am a very active person, I've always been. I definitely put my body into situations that are hard to deal with and since I've been wearing Activo things have changed quite a bit and my back pain has improved dramatically. The benefit that we're witnessing uh, from the use of Activo basically a reduction of pain, uh, more stability especially on patients that have uh, lower leg issues while they walk, while they exercise, while they jump, while they run. My hip is in a better position. I don't feel discomfort when I walk like I used to. Definitely it has improved the mechanics of my joints from the foot all the way up. It's not fun to have pain. It has made a big difference on my life. By resetting the lower leg, you create a little bit of better hinging and mechanism on the hip. Another benefit that we've been seeing is an increase in a little bit of the arch in people with collapsed arches. The main muscle that we're trying to trigger or to target with Activo is the, the muscle of posterior tibialis, which is the muscle that supports the whole arch of the foot. And by bringing more blood supply and more oxygen to this muscle, it actually the muscle is able to pull and to create a little bit of a better anchor to push the bones of the structure on the foot up. It created me more balance between both feet as well. And that's really important for the foot stability and for balancing the gait. The first way that we started measuring improvement, it was using a foot plate, measuring symmetry between left and right, areas on the foot that they are more pressure, less pressure, um, if the pressure going to the inside or the outside. By using Activo, the user can actually restore that symmetry or that symmetrical pattern between the left and the right. The measurement was done approximately once a month. Uh, there were three to four measurements done for each patient. And we noticed an improvement on the symmetry of the weight distribution in the foot plate. The weight distribution gives us a quantitative marker of the mechanical changes that they are occurring in the bone structure and the ligamentos and the muscle function on the foot. It's important that we see a proper distribution of the foot alignment and the foot pattern in the foot plate because that's gonna be a display of what's happening mechanically on the rest of the body. After seeing the result that uh, we have with Activo in the lower extremity, 
the most exciting thing that I've been experiencing is that we can apply this to any other part of the body, especially the upper extremity. So I'm really excited about the future's application of Activo for other parts of the body.